you're in the handyman zone. I'm Dino Pinch. Today I want to talk about getting rusty metal ready for paint. Whether it's interior or exterior metal, whether it's furniture or a railing or, um, or whatever, even your car fender, basically you're going to follow the same procedures but I'm going to lay out here. We happen to be working on a reclaimed school rolling storage car made out of sheet metal, not very rusty. Uh, but like I said, it could be any rusty metal that you want to get ready for refinishing, repainting. This video today, we're just going to get rid of the rust and we're going to apply a primer, a special primer, a rusty metal primer. We'll be top coating it another day, so we're not going to worry about that. But after this point that I'm going to show you, you could really top coat with anything. A spray enamel, a brush on faux finish, um, a brush on uh, solid color, uh, uh, chalk paint, uh, acrylics, uh, lacquer, basically whatever you want after this point. But I'm going to take you up to the prepping for a top coat. I'm going to be using my uh, variable speed 6 inch random orbital sander here, which uh, takes these discs. But uh, you could also use a, just a regular reciprocating orbital sander or a uh, one that takes square pieces of uh, uh, regular sandpaper. I'm going to start with the, oh you can see here, you see the rust damage? It's not through, but it's definitely pitted the surface and it's knocked off the paint. So we're going, to, uh, we're going to start with a 60 grit, fairly rough sandpaper. We're going to progress to an 80, to a 120, to a 220, and then our final, right before priming, ready for top coat, is going to be a 320 grit, which would basically give like an automotive type um, surface ready for paint. Nice and smooth. And basically what we want to do is feather edge the existing paint into the spots where there is no paint. And we also want to take a lot of the rough part of the rust off is this is a brush on it's a guarantee to stop rust and what this primer does is it chemically changes the rust into like silicate which i think is glass or something like that so it actually chemically changes the rust because as we all know once a piece of metal starts rusting it doesn't stop the rust just continues so this actually stops the rust uh, dust mask hearing protection might be nice and, and some safety glasses So we went progressively through the sandpapers, we got up to a 320, and we have all the rust damage to a feather edge. And feather edge, I mean there's no drop off between the existing paint and the bare metal, feathered to a nice edge as you can see. Uh, next we're going to wipe everything down with uh, some lacquer thinner on a, a lint free cloth. Now, stirring this stuff really good, uh, I'll probably annotate to one of my videos on how to stir a can of paint, um, but you've got to stir it really good because all the pigments and the heavier uh, particles settle to the bottom, uh, even if you have it on your shelf for a month or two, and the uh, organic solvents come to the top, and you want to definitely combine so you get the uh, proper consistency, uh, proper layout, and um, the way to manufacture intended to paint. Uh, the instructions on the can state that they don't want you to or you don't have to sand, sandblast, or wire brush. They just want you to scrape the loose and chipping paint off. This is going to be a furniture finish, a furniture grade, so we want it to feather edge so that it's nice and smooth. Although this uh, is a brush on product and it probably will have brush marks so we won't be using like an enamel spray paint. We would be using a textured spray paint, like a stone finish or a crackle finish 
or um, like a metallic hammered finish that they're selling these days in the spray paint section. Not only to cover up any uh, spots that we forgot to feather edge, but uh, to eliminate the uh, visual uh, imperfections of the old finishes are sprayed on and we didn't completely remove it, we just uh, feather edged it and this is going to be a brush on and we're not going to prime the whole thing, we're just going to prime the rusty bare metal parts. And the one thing I like to do with these disposable brushes uh, before I use them is just like pull on the bristles because there's a lot of loose uh, bristles that come out when uh, just because they're like cheap uh, disposable brushes so I like to kind of get as many loose ones as I can out before I start. If one happens to come out and I see it in the paint I'll try to pick it up with the uh, brush and, and smooth out that area because if the bristle dries in the primer and you want a really perfect finish you would have to wait for the primer to dry, uh, s scrape with your fingernail that one bristle out, sand it with like a, a maybe a 180 to a 220 to a 320 and then reprime that spot if you went through to the bare metal so so we're going to um start with this primer and we're going to get all the bare metal parts and any rusty parts and we're going to brush it nice as best we can nice and smooth and with all the brush strokes going in the same direction if we can help it Although, uh, like the edge piece like this, we might have to just deal with that. It is, okay, so there's a piece of debris. We're going to get that out of there. Another piece of debris. And we're Disposable brush is nice because we just toss it. I'll show you the piece. We're done priming it. It's got to um, it's got to sit and dry 24 hours, and then it's ready for top coat. Now you see I primed everywhere. There was bare metal or rust inside and out. I made sure I got all the nooks and crannies. And I, I chose to paint this outside the house, and I'm going to leave it out here to dry a good uh, maybe till the sun goes down. Then I'll bring it inside because it has toluene in it. And that's a real volatile organic solvent that will give you headaches and, uh, and, um, and just make your life like, if you're sensitive to it, it'll, sure, forget it. Um, so outside it is and that's that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to deal with rusty metal whether uh, you're inside or outside, if it's furniture grade or a wrought iron handrail or uh, the fender on your 1978 Dodge Dart. Um, the rust uh, transforming primers that are available on the market today are revolutionary and in the old days you would have to get every little piece of rust off of this metal because if you just top coated it and there was one little piece of rust in one of the little grooves from the sandpaper in a couple of months it would be a bubble and it would come through definitely excited about it although it's been out on the market for 10 15 years or something like that but I, i'm just saying so thanks for watching youtube uh share on your social media sites sub to my channel while you're here the handyman zone because all we do is uh fix stuff and and help you out around the house and um and do product reviews and crafting and and uh reclaiming furniture and stuff like that uh, sub to my channel while you're here and i will see you later youtube